Despite a weekend deal with Mexico to avoid tariffs, markets are still betting on a series of interest rate cuts from the Federal Reserve this year. The chance of a rate cut as priced in futures market running around 80 percent. So what would it take for the Fed to lower rates? The Fed meets next week and is expected to stay on hold, but perhaps signal possible cuts coming in July. A cut might come if Presidents Trump and Xi either don't meet in Japan later this month at the G20 gathering or if they meet and can't strike a deal. In that case, the president said in a CNBC interview today that additional tariffs could be levied on Chinese goods. Add to that another underwhelming jobs report and a weak second quarter growth report, and they all could seal the deal for a Fed rate cut. Some Fed watchers expect a mini easing cycle by the Fed consisting of two or three rate cuts. What does it do? Well, obviously, it supports asset prices and credit conditions. It softens the dollar a little bit. It would help sectors like housing that are beginning to benefit from lower 10-year yields. Is it totally transformative? No. Does it help lean against this extreme uncertainty from trade? Yeah, it does. And there are those who say the Fed may decide to hold the line. New York Fed President John Williams last week said he knows what markets are pricing in for the Fed, but he declined to endorse it. The bottom line is that... Uh Constantly we're hit by shocks and the question is assessing the magnitude of these shocks is critical and we just don't really know at this point if it's required to have deep, deep cuts in rates as the market is pricing at the moment. So there is some risk the Fed doesn't deliver, but most economists say another round of tariffs or even tariff threats from the Trump administration would likely force the Fed to cut rates in response. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Steve Leisman.